Hey guys, this morning I'm Carlos and I'm fishing uh, Sandy Wool Lake again. And uh, I'm fishing here with my buddy uh, Christy. Anyway, um, uh, this uh, uh, fish that are about two pounders have been sitting here for uh, uh, quite some time now. And uh, in the beginning, when they were just planted, um, they were responding to power baits and uh, other type of artificial type of lures. But uh, anyway, uh, they've been here for a while and they're no longer responding to that. There's far from few uh, being caught on par bait or mouse tail or anything like that. If anything, they're just playing with those type of bait. So uh, yesterday, um, one of the anglers here was uh, using a pretty cool technique actually. Uh, his name is Dion, so shout out uh, Dion. Um, he's using a power egg with uh, night crawlers on it. So he actually limited out based on that uh, setup yesterday. So I thought that I would give that a try as well. So first of all, I went to Walmart this morning and they have this new product. It's called Wrangler Live 30 Natural Fat Juicy Red Worms. Okay, um, they are really fat, fat worms and they're not um, all that well, at least they, to me, they don't look big, but they are pretty big actually compared to the normal uh, one that uh, I, I buy. But these containers are pretty flimsy. Okay, so that's the first thing that I don't notice. But uh, the, the worms are good. They're really active. It's a good product. And so the rig that I'm doing is, uh, again, it's a bottom rig. So 24 inch liter still with the mosquito hook. All right. And what you do is uh, you put a power egg, uh, two or three. Okay, I'm gonna I, I I'm gonna use two for this particular rig and see if it'll float. Uh, you need to keep on testing that. Um, yep, there we go. Hold on. Okay, one second. We're getting a hit. Come here. Here. Nice. Yep. Cool. Yep. Wait. Slow it down. Don't let his eyeballs bulge out. <laughs> we'll net it. Just let it sit. Where is it? Wait. Where is it? Where are you? I know, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you hooked it. In the gill? No. Or did someone eat it? No, I think he got munched on or something. Yeah, he got munched on. Go get your uh, your stringer. Did he swallow it? Wow. Ooh, still there. Nice. It was the chartreuse egg. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where are you gonna put it over there? All right, put it in the water. That's a nice one. It is. They're like two pounders. Yeah. Very good. And that is the first catch of the day. Nice. Here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fun. Anyway, so I was talking about the the rig here. So it's a, a sliding weight. Okay, it's a bottom rig with the bead, snap swivel, and then you've got your 24 inch leader. Okay, and then you've got your mosquito hook. All right, with power egg. Okay, now the power egg, I use two is the minimum. Okay, you can also put three. I had uh, three of the chartreuse with the worm and that's the one that actually worked. So as I was saying, okay, this is the product that I got from Walmart today. Uh, it's a Wrangler Live. Okay, they're a nice, uh, fat, juicy worms. They are definitely uh, very um, uh, active. So what you do is uh, essentially you take one worm, okay, and you actually uh, put it on this hook. You just, you know, string it up uh, twice, okay, and then you cast it out. So that's the rig that uh, uh, the Dion was doing yesterday, and that's the uh, uh, rig that actually landed the first fish this morning for us. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a worm right here, a nice, fat, juicy worm. Okay, this guy down. All right, and all you need to do is you take that worm, 
as you can see it's a nice fat worm I'm kind of hoping that the catfish would notice this as well but this is a huge worm look at it it's huge nice fat juicy worm so try to hook it you know somewhere in the body there okay make sure it's completely secure okay hook it once and then hook it twice right there okay and you know if you want to trim this worm you can okay um i i think i'm going to be generous and just feed the fish as much worm as i can because obviously when it's moving underwater the fish can uh, uh, definitely home in on that and actually feel it and maybe even the catfish would take it kind of hoping that it'll be a catfish but just make sure that your uh, hook is uh, exposed okay and then the next thing that you need to do is you need to put it in the water test it if, make sure that it actually floats okay that's the key because if it's not floating then what's the point right so get your hands all kind of dirty but at least it's not stinky like par bait so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh put it on the um uh try, test it to float and then uh, see if it actually works so stay tuned you need to uh, test that as you can see there's the worm okay in the par eggs put it in the water as you can see it floats and that's what's going to entice a strike huh if I was fish, I would eat that too. That's what I think. So, go ahead and set this up for a cast. Hopefully my worm stays on. There, that's a good enough spot. In fact, that's probably where I caught the fish before. Where's the, the bobber? <laughs> oh, all right. On the floor. Okay. <coughs> yep. If I was fish, I'd take that worm too. That's what I think. Then you'd be one dead fish. Yep. All right. So we'll see how long it takes to get that uh, next fish. Stay tuned. Good girl. No? No? You sure? Nope. Oh. Unless he's like an ounce. No. <laughs> oh, damn. Yep. Did he take it? Did he take the worm? It's still there, right? Come on. Set it. Yep, he's on. What? What's fish. the what's the deal, Christy? Fish <laughs> Wasn't my fault. Ah, there you go. I have too many things in my pocket. Set it. I don't feel it. Oh no, he's No, he's not. What is going on? Hi. I don't know. It sounds like something. But here we go, Christy. I, uh... Where is it? It's coming. <laughs> They're cousins. Cousins. <laughs> till you till, till you get tired and say, okay, I'm done fishing. Okay, go get your uh, tools to the trade. Nice. I'm bringing it over. There you go. What? 
nets are gooey. <laughs> it's a landing net as well as a regular net. No, your thing is so big. The heck? I think I may have stabbed your brain a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, guys, just as an update, the uh, power eggs with the live worm is definitely an effective way to uh, uh, bait and catch these fish right now. We've had several uh, 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 false positives wherein they're actually pulling it. That's the only thing with worm. Uh, we're using a full worm. So if it's a full worm, they tend to pull on the worm a little bit. And one time they pulled on just the egg itself. But uh, anyway, so when you hook them, Okay, they're actually on, like that last, uh, uh, the one that we just, that uh, Christy just pulled in, literally that, he kept on swimming and he just kept on pulling my bait feeder. Hopefully the video um, will uh, uh, show that. But anyway, we have two, okay? But one thing that I would recommend though, in that particular rig, you still have to follow the appropriate color of uh, power eggs with respect to the um, uh, color of the sky or the uh, appearance of the sun. So we caught one of chartreuse when it was truly bright. Uh, we caught one on uh, orange, okay, the uh, sunrise color, when again, when it was really bright. And, but either of them had a, a trailing worm, a uh, trailing worm. So mm. looks like what, yeah? Oh, they got one? <laughs> Looks like, uh, you know, the, the lunchtime uh, catches here again. So anyway, uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you posted. Okay, so uh, surprise, surprise. Look at this. So we actually have a plant truck right now here at the Sandy Wool. And uh, how, how, how many pounds? How many? A thousand? Okay, so uh, we're getting about a thousand pounds of the uh, smaller uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife uh, trout today. So how, how exciting it is. It's very timely that we're here, but I'm not quite sure if these fish would actually uh, bite right after they're planted. I've been in this situation before that after a plant, they will not bite up until like two, three hours later. So the best uh, technique for this type of situation when the fish is just planted is to use a cast and retrieve with a cast master or anything that's uh, uh, bright and uh, spinning and making a lot of noise. Uh, the fish tend to take that. But uh, as they travel, as the fish travel, um, the, uh, um, you know, they're sedated as well. So it takes a while for them to actually adjust uh, for the situation and for the lake. Uh, uh, the uh, ranger measured the temperature of the water. The water is about 68 degrees right now. That's a bit hot, but he's gonna go ahead and plant it. So usually, you know, they like to plant it when it's lower. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's see what happens here. And, and, the, and it looks like they're gonna go on this side. Okay, and they're gonna go ahead and pull, pull it in, pull the truck in. Okay, and I'll, I'll show you guys the process. I'll keep the camera on. I gotta go home, Tom. She's really gonna put the camera on. <laughs> yeah. So here's the truck. You know, this is a dock number two, I believe, that we're in. And the truck normally pulls back. And this uh, hole over here, they're gonna attach a, um, a flexi pipe on it. There's Christy right there. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. All right, so it looks like they attach a, uh, a long rigid pole first. Okay. And then next they're gonna go ahead and uh, back it up a little bit more. Is it just gonna come flying out of that pole? Yeah, looks like that they're just gonna come flying right out of that pole. Uh, I mean that uh, tube. So let's see, I'm gonna follow it out. Let's go follow it out. Wow, I've never seen it this way. It's not working? All right, let's go over here now. 
So, looks like he's backed up the truck. Let him rip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. They're gonna unload a um, thousand pounds of uh, the Department of Fish and Wildlife trout. Are you the osprey whisperer? Yeah. <laughs> Cormorant whisperer. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay too. <laughs> they like to chase my truck. Do they? Oh, they know you've got goodies in there. Oh, yeah. So now what exactly are you doing now? I'm checking temperature in here. Uh -huh. um, now because of how warm it is, these fish yeah. are going to act a little funny when they first get in the water. Yeah. Because that's quite a bit, big difference in jump. So what's your temperature there? Oh wow. So they're going from cold water to warm water. So 50 degrees there and then... Up a bit. That's good. What is it now? 54, 55. 54. And what's the lake? What was that? What's the lake temperature? 68. 68. Yeah. Oh, that is a big difference. So I think I'm actually going to throw a test net in first just to make sure they wake up quickly. Um, so are they sedated when they travel? No. Not no? Absolutely not. It's just oxygen and that's it. Oxygen. Sedating fish is quite hard. <laughs> if you sedate them too much, they'll die. <laughs> So it's just a matter of just <laughs> salmon. I hope the pen project in Tapping Bay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Somebody want to help me out and grab a net for me? Yeah, sure. You want to go? Go. There we go. She is just gonna go. Right here, right here. Christy, come here. Christy, come here. Right now, give it to Christy. She'll do it. She'll do it. She'll do it. She'll do it. Get them in fast. Come on. There's Christy. A little farther. So you can get them out of the net. You can actually tilt them out and let them go. Oh, God. Will they actually go? That's the question. So bring them out. Bring them out a little bit to you and grab the net from the bottom and turn them Let's over. Them there you go. There you go. There Perfect. You go. Perfect. Nice. So we, what we want to see wow. is we want to see them get going fairly quickly. Why won't they go? Out? What happened? Did you put your yeah, they're a little shocked. Yeah. That is some oh, yeah. water. Is the water temperature quite different? It's 68 degrees in there, and I'm at 54. So they're not happy down there, huh? It's a 14 degree difference. It's 68 here? 68 here. And you're 54 yeah. there? They're getting oh. cooked. So they do a tail up when they're not oh, happy, man. huh? What was that? Tail up when they're not happy. Exactly what they're doing right now. They're, they're just trying to get themselves up. together here. Yeah. So. Oh, bummer. Um, they'll wake up. And if you throw little little pebbles at them too, <laughs> they, they get going. It's just they don't like it. Huh. That is warm water. 68. Wow. 14 degrees is a lot. Usually with goldfish, I would go 2 degrees at most. Wow. A couple of them took right off. They yes. will. They, they will eventually. Just, you know, I'm throwing, I'm throwing basically a whole thousand pounds in there. That's about 26, 26, 2700 fish, and I, I don't, I don't want a bunch of floaters. That would be really not good. So, yeah, they're just shocked. They're in just, they're just in shock right now. They're they're recover. Where do you How up? Where's the hatchery? These guys are from Crystal Lake Hatchery. Up in uh, up by Bernie, oh, okay. which is a cold water hatchery. Oh, yeah. um, for us, they bring them to us. Uh, we're above Napa. Yeah. We're at, uh, but our water gets too warm during yeah. the summertime, yeah. so we can't hold them to actually raise them to size. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. There you guys go. You're just trying to swim in the hole. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Out of there. <laughs> All right. Well. I think they're just in shock and they're going to be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let them go. Well, the word is, looks like the fish is going to be released into the lake. So the, uh, the issue here was the differential on temperature. Um, it's come, the fish are about 50, coming from a 54 degree well tank and then going into a 68 degree um, uh, water so um, Ranger decided that yeah it's it's okay they eventually they'll go ahead and figure it out 
So here they come, fishes are coming out. And that is what a plant, that's what happened when a fish is dumped into. Plus maybe the water that's coming from there will help uh, equalize. Yeah, it'll help them do their thing. You know, that's a lot of fish, a thousand pounds. Approximately a thousand pounds. How many? No, how many count though? Count. 2,600 fish. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna have fun fishing. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a lot of fish. 25, 2,600 pounds of fish being planted. Uh, I'm sorry, not a count. I'm sorry, a thousand pounds, 2,500, 2,600 fish that's being planted so some of them have already swam out uh, some of them are still some of them are still here uh, they're just adjusting oh look at how fat that little guy is see him <laughs> there you go Off yeah, they have. They have. They've taken out. It's that cold water and all that, right? Probably uh, normalized. That's awesome. So is this going to be the last one? I'm not exactly sure. I couldn't tell you. We basically find out right right that day of. They let us know where we're going to be headed to. So, oh, really? yeah. I'm not so exactly now this, sure. this planting wasn't on the uh, schedule on the website. I don't check it. Oh, I don't check it. No, <laughs> it was for, for us. You know, yeah, it's just, just to work and it's just yeah, to just say here. go here, go there. Yeah, we get pretty much during the week we get our allotments that come in. Uh huh. Our, we get our Monday mornings, we get our fish that come in from right. our factories. Right. Uh -huh. And then during the week, our boss just says, okay, you're going here, you're going there. Right, but you don't know who orders it or whatever. Does the county order it or you don't know? It just I get know. get in the schedule and exactly. yeah. Um, I know once a year we get our allotments that where the lakes are going to be and how, right. much, how much weight they can support, how much weight they're going to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that information really is You don't know. Can I try to get one with my hands? <laughs> you know what? You would actually help me out if you want to keep them, if you want to get them going with your, with a little rock or if you want to actually get your hand in there. Yeah, you can push, you can, you can give push them, little, them little give them a little push. Them give them a little push if you can. Or if you find a little stick, you can tap them, but very lightly, not hard. You don't want to hurt them. <laughs> How often do you release? Uh, to here, I couldn't tell you. Um, that's what we were so talking about. So, it's not, yeah. yeah okay, it's a friend of ours yeah. told you. you were so anyway, most release, of that so. fish have already, uh, you know, gone out. You know, the cold water coming from the well tank and then okay, into the lake it itself week, sort of yeah. equalizes yeah. the temperature. Yeah. And yeah. most of the fish have already gone out and spread really out. So the question is uh, whether we're going to be able to catch this fish uh, sometime today. Anyway, so uh, that was kind of cool. All right. <laughs> Stay tuned. Do it. He's there. Nice. <laughs> Yep. Wow. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You didn't get it? Oh. You got a stick. <laughs> you got a stick. stick. I feel like I stick the whole time. Hey guys, so uh, we've been fishing about uh, three hours now, and there was a plant that happened. And as predicted, there hasn't been much fish that has come up or caught based on that plant. So what we've been uh, what we've been catching are the larger ones that are holdovers that have been here for a while. So anyway, um, caught two of those today. And uh, there's Christy, and she's got it on her line. Pull it up, Christy. Show your fish. So the, there we are. We have two fish today. That it's pretty good size. Bring it closer. We can see. Oh, look at this, all the weeds. I mean, these are pretty good sized fish, right? They're at least two pounds each, right? 
and <laughs> they'll slap your fish. Here, come over here, come on this side. So anyway, uh, sometimes you just need two fish and that's all you need to catch. So as always, uh, come fish with us sometime here at Sandy Wool. And I'm here today fishing with my friend Christy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Hi. So we'll see you guys later. <laughs> see ya.